by God's wonderful grace, mercy, and the Holy Spirit's direction, uh, he has given us more scriptural verses to use for our proclamation. And today we want to continue with Psalm 77, reading from verses 16 to 20. And this is what the authorized King James Version uh, renders for us today. The waters saw thee, O God. The waters saw thee. They were afraid. The depths also were troubled. 17. The clouds poured out water. The skies sent out a sound. Thine arrows also went abroad. 18. The voice of thy thunder was in the heaven. The lightnings lighted, lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. 19. Thy way is in the sea, and thy path in the great waters, and thy footsteps, foot, pardon me, footsteps are not known. 20. Thou ledest thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Amen. And now let us proclaim the same scripture verses that has been personalized in the New King James Version and uh, for us to proclaim. Oh, my gracious, merciful, heavenly, glorious, and almighty Father, hallowed be your blessed name. Thank you for the substitutionary death that your begotten Son, my Lord, and Savior Jesus Christ completed on Calvary's cross in order to pay for my sins and redeem me. My Jehovah Father, the testimony of your Holy Scriptures in Exodus 14, 21 and 22 reminds us that the Red Sea saw you, O Adonai, Lord God, the waters saw you, they were afraid, the depths also trembled. Our El Elyon, the Most High God, you displayed your almighty power in Egypt and in Exodus, 19, 16 to 20, when your clouds poured out water, the skies sent out a sound, your arrows also flashed about. The voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind, the lightnings lit up the world, the earth trembled and shook. Your miracle was in the sea and in the wilderness, Johnny, your path in the great waters, and your footsteps were not known. O oh, merciful El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty, as our Heavenly Father, you led your people Israel like a flock by the hand of prophet Moses and Aaron the high priest out of bondage into freedom. Glorious Father, through the atonement, blood, sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ, you have granted your saints justification, sanctification, and eternal life. Thank you, Holy Father, 
for blessing me with your daily spiritual health, life, and mercy. Thank you for answering my prayers in the blessed name and righteousness of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This has been taken from Psalm 77, verses 16 to 20, which has been personalized with additional comments. And amen. Now, this is a scriptural reminder, as uh, we have always uh, decided to include, include this in our proclamation. As first, as we all know, as seventh leaders, first century gospel church is compassionately inspired by God's Holy Spirit to offer scriptural advice and counsel to those who contact us about their questions and to represent uh, present uh, rather their requests for prayer in humility to God's throne of grace and mercy for answer and deliverance through the power in the blessed name, atoning sacrifice, blood bought right, and righteousness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Given to us in Matthew chapter 10, verse 1, Matthew chapter 10, uh, 28, verses 19 to 20, Mark chapter 11, verses 22 to 24, Mark chapter 16, verses 17 and 18, and the epistle of James, the apostle, chapter 5, verses 13 to 18, which is our blood, blood membership, right, to claim all these spiritual blessings to our life. Amen.